Welcome to the Morning Drive with John the Pentecostal. Today, got a little special nugget for you. Because you know, every morning, bringing in fresh supply of diamonds of God's Word. And we're doing it today. Every single day, every morning. Because you got to start, you start your day off with the Word of God. Everybody's like, I need my coffee. No, nah, man, you need that Word, son. Because that coffee, that caffeine wear off. The Word don't wear off, man. But you got to stay in it day and night. Today we're talking about, uh-oh, religious people about to cuss, the promise of prosperity. <laughs> Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, it says, Blessed is the man, not poor, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Right now, we've already eliminated 95% of the people, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. What happens if he does this? He'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, prosper. God wants you to prosper. You know how people always be like, you know, those prosperity preachers. You know, there's no such thing as a prosperity gospel, but prosperity is in the gospel. You see what I mean? It's all, you know, it's like healings in the gospel. God wants you to be blessed. If, if prosperity is bad, then why can't you find any of the old prophets poor? Well, Jesus was poor. No, he wasn't. He had two homes, lucrative business, and he had someone carrying around a bag of cash. Come on now. Get some sense. But this is today's declaration, today's devotion. We're going to get into a confession about this because when God's word has a part in your life and when you live by the principles of the word. See, I'm not just like doing this so I can be blessed, right? I have a relationship with the Lord. I love the Lord. I know you do too. Prosperity is a byproduct of a relationship with God. And when God's word has a part in your life, and when you live by those principles of the word, hey, then what the Bible promises will come to pass in your life. Whatever you do shall prosper. Now, one translation of the last portion of Joshua chapter 1 8, it reads, Thou shalt be able to deal wisely in the affairs of life. Oh, you need wisdom. I'm telling you, you need wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. I encourage you, get on the Nexus app, listen to a sermon from January the 2nd called Wisdom That Works. It'll bless you. But the Bible says concerning King Uzziah, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. That's what it says, 2 Chronicles 26, verse 5. As long as he sought the Lord, as long as he sought the Lord. Everybody's like, I want to prosper, I want to prosper, I want to prosper, but they're forgetting the, the, the first part. As long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. The Bible says of Joseph, that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Genesis chapter 39, verse 23. So God wants you to prosper. God has a promise of prosperity. This is why, you know, when you talk about tithe, when you talk about offering, just living by the word, God's given you the power to get wealth. But you have to seek the Lord, and God will give you wisdom for all the affairs of life. Today's confession, I want you to say this with me like we do every day. I walk in godliness. Say it. I walk in godliness. You might be saying, well, I really don't. Well, today you are, and you're going to start declaring it. I walk in godliness. I do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But guess what? Say it with me. My delight is in the law of the Lord. In God's word, I meditate day and night. Therefore, I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit. My leaf does not wither. Whatsoever I do shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, get ready to prosper, man. Hey, expect it. If you live by the word of God, now you shouldn't expect to prosper if you're not living by the word, but if you're living by the word, you should start expecting to prosper. This year be the greatest year of financial provision in your life than ever before. Amen? Well, hey, As we've been saying, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will see you tomorrow morning for our morning drive. And I got one for you again in the morning. Tell your friends, tell your family, because every morning, hey, let's, hey, caffeine's okay. 
but you need Christ before the caffeine. Amen. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.